This is still tea time on Plus TV Africa. I'm sure you're having a swell time like we are. And yes, we have to go on with the stories for the day. Like I told you, we have a lot to dish to you guys. So American comedian Kevin Hart has gifted his daughter Evan with a Mercedes-Benz SUV on her 16th birthday. The movie star and comedian presented his teenage daughter with an expensive SUV among chairs from family and friends. And yes, it has been reported that it was over 40 million naira. Absolutely. Yeah. So now the question is the reason that like, there's a reason why every story is here today. Now a lot of people feel like those that have the most are the ones that turn out being spoiled. You know, the kids that you give them the best life, you give them the most expensive luxury things. The only person I can say that is a broke person. Thank you. No. Yes, absolutely. No. I don't agree with that. Do you think that it don't matter? Defend your what case. Oh yeah. <laughs> Um, um, th there's truth in what you said, mm. yeah, and um, I've seen a lot of kids mm. that have all these things, like, they literally have almost everything they ask for, and they turn out to be, like, the worst kind of child. But they always turn out to be the best, because I was one of those kids. Mm. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, baby, oh, pop. I was Fuck. one of those kids. I didn't lack anything And there's child. people who lack, like, crazy yeah. and turn out crap. So, and there are people who lack like crazy and turn out to be very good at it. And there's people who have everything and they turn out to be very good very at it. Yes, I know. That's why I said to some extent, or to an extent, I beg your pardon, uh, that what you said happens. I, I stand with it totally because I know. I, 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 think, I think it's arguable. And um, at the end of the day, you need to see from this perspective mm -mm, as well. If, uh, if no, because I went to private schools all my life. I can kind of agree with what she's saying. Now... I know boys that their dads are governors and all of that. And I went to a school like Babcock. I saw their lifestyle. I saw the Calm things they did. Huh? Be talking, but be coming down hmm. with me. It's like, so, uh, calm down. <laughs> but it's the truth. Like, I would say we so speed out fast. We have not now, do now. Have you? I see. I don't have <laughs> Who is the we now? A we now? What oh, is the problem? Oh, share our people. Huh. And that's why I have you people now, at least. Go on, if I want to hear your point. I'm, uh, I'm, 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 I'm abroad by association. Yeah, absolutely. I can speak for Nair because you speak for Nair. Exactly. So why you say why are you speaking for Nair? My co anchor speaks for Nair. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, now, so I've seen how these kids, because they can afford certain things, the type of life they live. Now, for someone who cannot afford it, they probably ain't going to get involved in certain things because I cannot afford for this. Do you understand? So affordability matters a lot. What's your too. question again? In the beginning, you said, do you think that these people who get all these kind of things hmm. would grow up being spoiled? Da, hmm. da, 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 da. Again, I Especially stand Especially when they with don't the, have it anymore. I stand with the fact that you have to be a broke person to say that. Hmm. Because when you grew up in wealth, or maybe not that you're a broke person, but you didn't grow up in that, in that wealth. When you grow up in wealth, you know that there is so much more to raising a child than cars. And that has nothing to do with how they're going to be raised. Mm. There's no difference. Mm. It's when you are sitting on the outside of the, of the table that you, it looks like it's them getting that car. car contributes to who they are. See, it doesn't really. Mm. Because rich people have rich people problems. Mm. They feel just Shit. like us. Like when I'm complaining mm. about, I don't know, maybe about Uber taking much money. They're complaining that the, the, the PJ, the much, PJ much is much fuel. fuel is whatever, whatever. Uh, Let me tell you. Rich people problems. Yes. Oh, shit. Nah. Yes. Can I be my prayer point? Can I have me. rich people problems? <laughs> you see, because the thing, I know, and I like that you were mentioning people that you have access to. I also had people that I had access to. Mm. My uni was one of is the most expensive in South Africa mm. and Australia, Shady. right? There are some people, I even, I even used to even use a complaint sometimes, like, what mm. am I doing here exactly? Because mm. I don't understand. Now there's people, I don't want to mention their names, so they don't feel like I'm exposing them, but I'm talking like 1% of the 1% 1%. of Nigeria, True. right? Okay. Mm. The things that make them who they are has nothing to do with the money. It mm. depends on the parents, mm. the parents' parenting style, the parents, um, if they had love in their family, if they didn't. Mm. Most of the time, when you find kids that are, that are negatively, uh, that display negative behavior, as in rich kids, it's because most of the time they've been neglected. Mm. It has nothing to do with that. Not they drove in a mm. Ferrari or they True. drove in a Toyota. True. If the parents love them, do you know how many parents, like I knew a, a, a kid, I was, maybe until like second, third year, that I realized who she actually was. 
Can this girl be so timid when she's at the door? She'll ask us if we could do the A, B, C, and D. Like, super, super timid. And so I, when I found out who she really was, I was like, whoa, what is going on here? Why are you not like... And then I started um, getting really close to her. Her mom was brought up from the village, right? So she grew up with somebody who didn't have a lot of stamina mm. at home. This mm. girl respects everybody I know. She mm. doesn't have needs. She doesn't know how much things cost. You know when you're so rich that you don't check... The label of things. She doesn't know how. She doesn't know how much water costs. But she's not rude and she's not whatever. It's the kid. It's the people who are raised. But anyway, I'm going round and round. My point is, your money does not really have that much part to play in your behavior. It can have a lot to do with your economic view on the world, how you want to, uh, um, what what you want your career to be. I know that, that they, they get very different there they're, mm. they're not really thinking about nine to five like us they're mm. thinking about what they can create and start mm. i know that having provision from a young age affects that when it comes to behavior how you treat women how you treat your partners how you treat your your staffs and your people under you depending on the parenting is, staff it, yes period and the parenting skills okay. Yeah. I'm not um, disputing the fact that, yes, um, it's not just about the money. Yes, parenting also counts. Like, it tells a lot about um, a child or a person's behavior in total. But I'm still going to start on the fact that most of the... Ch I'm talking about Nigeria right now. I'm not, I'm not looking outside Africa, Nigeria. Yeah. No, I'm looking at Nigeria. Kids, most kids that have these things, they end up being the worst kind of children in some like they put out some kind of behaviors that give us an example okay the behavior have you seen like i i know a lot of kids that they had this thing like they have these things they have almost everything they ask for they have it they have cars they have money like almost everything they ask for when they're in high school mm -hmm. go like they do the worst things like they even have to they, they make those that let don't me, even me, have it me, excuse let me, let me for coming they bring um, those that don't even like you see the let's say the middle class that roll with them they make them even like they make them turn to be like them they're the ones who want to bring the drugs get them involved they want to have a circle and call it whatever name so this is the gang and that's exclusive that to rich kids most times that's what i'm uh -huh. saying no. most no. times i'm <clears throat> telling you i disagree with that because i know that that happens in uni like it happens mm. in public schools it happens in last school oh one... it's a lot in private school like it's like that's it's oh lord you guys don't know i'm gonna it. use myself as an example the fact that i i uh you know kind of like was a spot one in my house my brothers could not try half of the things that i tried and i got away with it because um i was the last child as well mm. so i was being pampered so I could do anything and be like, what are they going to do? They're just going to talk. Mm. Do you understand? They're not going to spank me like they would have done to my brothers or my sister. Again, that has they... nothing to do with money. No, wait now. But, like... but you, he mentioned he, he was like, you were the one that gave almost everything, right? Yeah, no, they gave every one of us everything. Everything. But the difference was the, was the freedom. Now, that is another problem that I'm going to say a lot of parents, whatever, whenever you're doing your parenting skill, do not feel that locking a child in the house, right, is a way to help a child. Again, we're talking about things that are not money related. Because even her point. Do you know what they sense, say? Let me tell you why it is money related. To people no, who it, are rich. No, it's then, not. Then as, there's no point there. Because the conversation it's here not as is about, the car, about okay, rich not. people mm. being spoiled. So tell me something that That's is what I'm exclusive about, to rich people. But what you just said now, poor people do it. There's people that don't have Shingbai. No, but I'm saying that I'm saying. Make a lot of money and they bring people in. So I'm saying. What I'm saying that is yes, poor people do it, but you find most rich kids end up doing it. Like they do most it more. rich kids, yeah. As in, like, as in, as in, like, and I'm talking about, I'm talking about kids, eight of them will be like that. No, if we go, to, if we go to a private school now, I've seen very well being rich kids. Very, I know, I know, hey. I know. Let me go oh, tell you something. You guys are not, rich. You guys are not tell. getting what I'm saying. I'm not saying they're not well behaved kids, rich kids. There are, there are a lot of them. But if we want to weigh it, if we want to I weigh it, go to a high school mm. or you go to a, a private school, sorry, a private university, just go there and. I completely disagree. There's something that there's something that rich kids even have that I feel like poor people don't have is that they have a lot of pressure for family, mm. a lot. Most people, up. most people to don't have up. the legacy. I'm sorry, maybe uh, I don't know what happened to our fathers, but some people, most don't, people, don't you stop that, <laughs> <laughs> most people don't have a heavy legacy that is leaning on their backs, right? Your parents can give you enough, give you a fam. Um, uh, support to go through school and everything, but you find your feet and they can support with that. Rich kids have a very different kind of struggle where the entire legacy that has made millions 
is on <laughs> their back. If anything, they have a lot of pressure in regards to that. They use their heads most of the time. It is going to be absolutely unfair. To also, co put see, you know what you just said now? He's going to take, um, no. take me back to the movie I told you I was watching yesterday. So this girl is a rich kid, right? And every time she applies for anything and they do the background check, so our, our dad apparently stole money. So our best friend was like, oh, they did a background. Your grandfather came back again? And she was like, yeah. And he was like, what, what did they even steal? Five million dollars? She said, no, 50 million pounds. I'm like, what? <laughs> Daddy, what did you do? <laughs> I'm like, what? 50 million pounds. Mm. And then, you know, one day we're trying to tell her about, you know, she said, man, this block, you know, this block of apartment is owned by my family. I don't pay a dime. I don't, I'm like, okay. So I get where it's also coming from. Like, see, see that type of responsibility mm. of knowing that, look, they gave you this. You are not paying it for it. That, it is a struggle on its own. See, that perspective that you people have about rich kids outside that mm. perspective. Another thing you have to consider about rich kids is that they they all hang around with rich kids. So it's on, only until they get the opportunity to mingle outside that they realize their, their wealth. Do mm. you know? A lot of them don't know that not everyone lives like that. Mm. A lot of them don't understand that, oh, people actually struggle to have a budget. Yeah, that's true. Or have that's true. A, so most of the time, they don't, except your parents, again, except your parents is the kind of person that wants people to know mm. that they have money, those new wealth, new wealth well, people. Uh, new and then they make it clear. That's when they'll be putting it into their kids' mind. Don't hang out with that girl. She's not rich enough. Don't hang mm. out. But on a normal day, most rich kids are with rich kids until they go to uni. Mm. That's why I really like uni. Uni now bless, um, gives them a, a, a yeah, and then they see that. But still, it is not because you are wealthy that you become bad. Okay. No, I'm not, so that's not what I'm saying. That's not the point. That's no, no, basically no. what no, you're that's not. that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that... It, which, which is the question? What's the question again? You said that... Um, Do you think the people that have everything tend to, you know, lose it? And I said most point, of the yeah. time. Most of... It's bullshit. I can't use that word. It's rubbish. It's, 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 it's not. not. It's not factual. It's, you know, if I, you mentioned something, it's you said... Hey, guys. Um, rich people don't have poor people problems. <laughs> they sometimes have poor people problems. Yeah. They face it. Okay, tell us a poor people problem that rich, rich people have. Um, <laughs> no. They're, 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 tell me. Okay. A, ch a rich child or a rich child would struggle to have a good um, result at the end of the, mm. the year. That's not oh. a poor people problem. It's, That's a human uh, being problem. No, 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 no. Poor people problem would be that I'm it is because to you are poor no, that you have that problem. Have Guys, okay. now, uh, wait, make this, a, make this wait, thing constructive. Wait, wait, let me uh, tell you what I'm trying to say. What, why it's relatable to the both of them is because both the poor is aiming to get there. It's a problem for that See, there is life so problems. To, to let me break it down for you. Problem, there is life problems, health problems, um, brain, uh, mixing with people, bullying. Those are life problems. There's but rich problems. When you call it life problem, a rich person's problem is also a life problem. Yeah. Like, no, generally, they're all... You have all... the same problems as a rich Jesus, person, you This know? girl, I'm trying to explain... See, this conversation... I, I don't think you are, you are getting out the point of this conversation. This point of... The conversation is about problems that are related to money. That's not the same thing as life problems. You can be healthy or poor and have a headache. That's a life problem. Mm. But if, I'm, if I cannot pay school fees, that's a okay, poor people so... problem. If I cannot afford to keep my island... That's a rich people problem, okay? If so they're... there's a difference. So wait, I'm I think where I'm doing, let me just let me just meet everyone in the middle, and I hope I will do a good job at this. And if not, please always slap me from across the table. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So what I think is, um, I think what she's trying to say is that when kids tend to have everything spoiled, you know, and all of that, they tend to misuse certain opportunities. But if you do not have certain opportunities in life, you tend not to take a lot of things for granted and you want to use your opportunities wisely. You don't think that's a personality thing in fair? No. You know, there are times that you have access to certain things that, oh. look, Mr. A has this. Have you not seen people who Mr. have nothing B, and still exploit opportunities? Of course, we're not so again, doubting that there are. She's just saying that do you think it happens one too many times with people that are more opportune than people that are less privileged? Right. Do you understand? Do you think it happens one too many? It's not like it is. I don't not think so. I think I think problem. what happens is that human beings blow up bad stuff too much, mm. right? Mm. So if 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 two rich kids do something bad, then all rich kids are like that. Mm. But there's ten thousand rich kids that are just keeping their head low, doing their stuff, going to the family business, doing. Nobody cares about that. So then you exploit the little ones that are making so much noise. But it's to be <laughs> see, there's no facts. There's no basis. To the idea that you know for a fact that all if you put all the rich kids together, majority of them are bad. Mm. Ma how do you want to prove that? 
You can't prove it, but we've seen it happen one too many times. We've so seen it happen. Kids. I'm not arguing about that. I'm saying that to say that the majority of and them are bad the poor because of money. Uh -uh. And you see that it is the poor people that their kids will have scholarship from primary school to university to master's degree. Oh, Do you understand? Guys, and you hardly find rich people's kids Hi. that have that same... You add, I'm not saying you will never. I say you is hardly. Proper bias. Let me tell you. You hardly. Proper it's bias. not bias. Proper I, I bias. How many rich kids? Okay, if, okay. Let me let me ask you, Emerald. In your pool of circle, do you have more extremely rich kids or more average people? My pool of circle. Yes. Average people. Okay, so then how would you know if you're not even in that circle? But I have deeply. more rich people, and I can tell you for a fact that a lot of them. <laughs> But now, still probably stay with your parents. What's wrong with that? A lot, a lot. is wrong with that. Uh, I have friends. Do you know that. my age? Show my age, Minnie. Middle class people stay with their parents. If you know, a middle class parent, people stay. What's wrong with that? My What's father wrong gave with me that? hell. I was a certain age and I was still staying in his house. Now, that's what I'm telling you about mm. upbringing. Even though my father Thank had you. enough rooms Thank in his you. house to accommodate Thank you. me. Thank you. Is that, that is my point. the problem with the fact that I was waking up and I was eating his Thank food. you very much. And I'm grateful to him till today for I'm that. I'm not... God not, bless you. You've of course, my point. Of course. Thank you. With, it is home training. That has nothing to do with the size of your pockets. But let's move on. All right. So we have to move into the next story. And this one is quite a sad one. As Bobby Brown's son, Bobby Jr., died after ingesting a deadly cocktail of drugs. This, according to the autopsy, this was according to the autopsy report. The LA County Medical Examiner's Office just released the findings. And according to the document obtained by, you know, a credible media outlet, the autopsy and toxicology, and toxicology found a deadly combo of alcohol, co cocaine, and fentanyl. The report also says a witness told police Bobby Jr. had downed tequila and snorted half a percut of the cocaine. The manner of death is listed as accidental. It will be recalled Bobby Jr. was found dead at just 28 years old in his last Los Angeles home, area home in November 2020, and cops reported that there was no foul play involved, and our law enforcement and the law enforcement sources told them that no drugs were found at the scene either. But autopsy is back, toxicology is back. And yes, fentanyl, cocaine, and alcohol. Why? Rich people problems. Exactly. Go to Shodi. I'm how many sober people live in Shodi before I give you a dirty Rich, slap. Papa, see. When you go to Shodi, how many Shodi? poor people go you know where they take like cocaine? Where they overdose? This still comes back to what we're talking people? about. How many this still poor comes back to what we're talking about? How many? Wait, let me tell you one more. Let me not. Let's not talk about. Let's not talk about. Let's not talk about. Let's not talk about Shodi and find. Give me twenty sober boys in Shodi. Oh, no, not Do you know that I this used expensive drugs. Okay, so now it's expensive drugs. Drugs yeah. is still drugs now. No, not this expensive. We're not Bias. talking about the ones that buy it. They will no. buy one parcel for 200. Is that looking too uh, Have you Brown's seen any poor man's if child that has overdosed on drugs? Are you kidding me, fair? <laughs> no, I'm just saying no. Okay, how many can you pay? But rich people. Are you can, kidding can me? Count five. At least ah, of rich people. Do you know how many um, um what you call outreaches they are mm, and how true. many people they pack in overdose, dozens? Overdose. I'm not saying it's, they have addiction it, problems. Drug issues if is what you're, you're not, talking about now. She will still not accept so it's I'm, I'm I'm begging you people to stop being biased, okay? It's not a it's a human being problem. Uh, uh, jobless people, especially um in the lower class, are they are consumed with drugs. Mm -hmm. It's just cheap stuff, it's different. Mm. Very cheap stuff. Because drug is not a social issue. It's not a social economic issue. That's what I'm trying to explain. I'm mm. not saying that these people don't have issues and that rich kids are perfect. But I'm saying that most of these issues that you're talking about are not affected by wealth. They're affected by issues. If you have trauma growing up as a child, if you have things that you want to escape from, you will use drugs. Be middle class, be your $10, and be poor. I'm not saying they will not use drugs. So. <laughs> we they OD on drugs. <laughs> Do you know what Miss OD on drugs? Do you know the amount of cocaine they said this guy had snorted? A poor man cannot afford it. Okay, so if you give the poor man, would he, uh, would he do what this guy did? If it's not about give, giving him. Would he go out of his way to find it? This guy went they to find it. They steal all the time to do it. Oh, are you kidding? If, uh, do you know how many people die Can from drug talk? issues? If in the streets. Anyways, anyways not to trivialize what has happened to Bobby Brown, we need to talk about the family <sighs> and how, you know, his daughter died from drug overdose, his wife died from drug overdose, how he was an addict the himself. The wife was drug as well? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Whitney, Whitney Houston. Houston. Was it drug? Oh, wow. 
Yes, babe. It was okay. drugs. Yes, it was drugs. Proper drugs. So his daughter died from drug overdoses. His wife Very died sad. from drug overdoses. Son died from drug overdoses. He was once or maybe still is a drug addict he himself. himself yeah. Do you understand? He's so, the one who started all this. Yeah, he started all the whole thing. So we need to, you know, it's, it's about what you show. Now, where I'm going to with all of this is about what you show to your kids. So as, as a parent, I feel like whatever problem you may be going through, whatever addiction, and I'm now one of those people that don't see addiction as a problem anymore I see it as a disease and people who have addiction issues need help and not yeah, to be looked do. down upon and not to be judged and not to be looked like it is their fault is because their parents have money it's not because of that so I'm being very real now I'm saying addiction problem is a disease and should be treated as one it's I as bad as cancer any social class. but you see apart mm. from even being a disease it's also hereditary so mm. there are tendencies in people they're called yeah. tendencies right and there's some people that just have an addictive mm. personality mm. you even see it in when you date one like that it's like mm. they, quit, they get very addicted to you mm. um, if they like an artist they get very addicted to the artist and it's like a consuming mm. um uh desire or whatever i think like my addiction with whiskey it's not that <laughs> i'm just joking I, I don't think so i think <laughs> you just do that on this table <laughs> just to tassy people whiskey is a lie <laughs> i love you for that <laughs> um so i think obviously this family has that um mm. there's a lot of families that have that as well um the one that hits home to me are the the ones it's addiction but theirs is food mm. so food? yeah mm. not drugs so they're mm. all very oversized and all have the same health related issues in regards to that mm. and it's it's a thing that they're you they're not using um you know um science and medicine to treat the 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 condition and stuff so I, I, and the reason I'm, I'm pointing this out is because it's not a, a witchcraft village yeah, it's, thing. Not, it's just it's none of that. the the way the body is made up of and i, I for some reason Oh, and you know, adding parenting into it. If you already have that yeah. that um, thing in you. in you, and then you're exposed to parents who obviously encourage that, then yeah, it's very sad. I think trauma too is a very strong pull to this um, family as to well. this family yeah. as well. That yeah. if you already have that, and everyone finds a way to cope, and that's your story. That's exactly. your story. That's the narrative the public has about your family. It's a and it's not even to just drive the public. I think it's yeah. they have that. Yeah, that that is their the reality. Yeah, I don't think we pushed it on them. I think yeah. they as I mean, Bobby was always he when he came into Whitney's life, he was a druggie, mm. like a proper, a proper druggie, one. right? A junkie, and he put her on. Mm. And, it and you see the thing about it is that even in psychology because I did I did a bit in uni when you're pregnant mm. and you take drugs which she did I don't know if you watched the mm. documentary mm. the child actually is addicted they call them oh. crack uh, babies yes <laughs> but there's a proper medical yeah, like that, a term, yeah, yeah, yeah but yeah. you see that already affects you and stuff so this it has this drug thing a has of, a stronghold on that family. A lot right. of babies are actually a, put we, away in America and sent to homes because their parents were addicts and they just suspected that they would turn out to be addicts in the as society well. and, and they, they put do. them in a rehabilitation center from, from birth. birth. Yeah. Oh, oh. Yeah. yeah. We don't have more, uh, more cases like this more in Nigeria, do we? We do. We just don't have um, institutions the, yeah. to that. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. we have to move on, but our heart goes out to the um, Browns. Yeah. Sad so one. on March 22nd, 2021, Grammy Award winning Nigerian superstar Bono Boy chatted with Entertainment Today Canada and he spoke about his recent Grammy win. Lessons he learned from working with um, Didi and more. When the interviewer asked a visibly happy Bono Boy what he learned from working with a legendary PDD, yes, which is you know formerly Puff Daddy, he said, I basically learned that I was doing the right thing. You know that I was on the you know that I was on the right path. He basically saw a lot of himself in me and stuff. That basically showed me that, yeah, about to hit them billions. Bonaboy also added that he believes that music is whatever the spirit wants to say. Yeah. And I think this is a very deep one. You know, when somebody like Didi, say that didn't things. have anything to do with your career when it started, he didn't know, he got to know your music from, yeah, 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 yeah. And when Kanye West dropped, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. And he saw that and he paid attention to your music and he decided to be the executive producer of your can next album. Can we that that had something, album. a huge part to play in the Grammys as well? Of course, mm. of course. We can't take that away. Mm. We can't take that away. And he, had, uh, he said he was going to do that. So then is it fair for him to say that he did it on his own? Sorry, I keep distracting you. 
No, um, he did yes. it on his own because yes. it was the one that attracted Didi. Exactly. If he wasn't he doing go. a good thing, Didi wouldn't have noticed the But so those boy. people don't have any... But you just agree that they have a strong part to play. So how but he's still, but he's They still, have a strong um, part he, to he's play still. based on his international recognition that PDD from posting him on his Instagram... Yeah, 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 this yeah, is yeah, him, him recognising yeah. PDD actually now with okay. his speech that right. his job so... Yeah. So, anyways, um, I think um, if I have more to say on this one, no, I mean so. I agree. I obviously I agree completely with what he's saying. I just, I just, I just always think about when people say I did it on my own. It's like, can you really like man is on an island? Anyways. but um, I know what you mean. It's like his music, it's his song, it's his sound. It's that was him, what got Speedy did to notice him. But yeah, like, will not say he wants to work with Speed Darling team. Uh uh, why do you have to call Speed Darling team? Uh uh, why are you so angry? Is I it don't play. Oh, you don't know. Don't use small eyes. Oh, that's what they. Ah, come on, you don't know whether this is what ah. Speed Darling team needs. <laughs> So that you people can say I played a part in the Darlington success. Anyway, um, in regards to Burner Boy, I think Burner Boy is very special. I remember when very, we were watching very. the 23, yeah. um, she mentioned, I, I don't know what we're talking about, and then you said, this guy is just very different. And I think that's the that's best the way word. to explain yeah, him, yeah. that he's quite different. He's Even though it's Afro, Afro that he's doing sounds completely different. And some Alrighty. people are just like that, that have a very have special way, way of doing yeah. things. So there's we're a, trying for there's him. There's a thick voice in my head now saying, it's time, it's time, it's time, you have to go. You have to go. Anyways, thank you for watching. Join the conversation on social media with the hashtag Tea Time or Twitter us at Plus TV Africa. Remember, you can catch up on our previous episodes, including this one and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time on Alta TV and, of course, in London on Ben Television. A big thank you goes out to my co anchors, Ife Olua, Ife Omai, and Emerald <laughs> Emenuga, and the entire production team. Thank you for watching Plus TV Africa's Tea Time. My name is Ife Oshuke. Enjoy the